Hey, what's up YouTube? Out here in the early morning with a review of the Fox Knives Vulpus multifunction knife. This is made in Italy and it's kind of an Italian take on a classic Swiss type knife. So this has aluminum handle scales. This is a three layer model. It has a key ring. So that is a pretty sweet tool set, right? Kind of bare bones, but I like it. Two openers, sheep's foot blade, some scissors. So that's what that all looks like inside the knife, right? It is definitely well made, I mean, yeah, these tools, very snappy. All right, so you see the openers there and they have screwdrivers at the ends. It's going for about $63 right now, but the prices are subject to change because it's still kind of new. Now that blade shape they're describing as a sheep's foot, and that's as opposed to the typical spear point style that you will see on Victorinox pocket knives. Uh, it's kind of up to you uh, which blade shape you prefer. Now this, the steel on this is N690, right? Bowler N690. However, they do have different models with um, pricier steels, including M390, right? But the prices will vary. But you basically got 2.2 inch sheep's foot blade of that stainless steel. It seems to be doing okay on the whittling. Uh, it did come sharp. It's always interesting to me when a, when a uh, company tries to compete with the classic Swiss knives. You know, if anyone can be um, competitive, it's going to be an Italian company like this, right? Now this company, Fox Knives Italy, that's actually a very good brand. Uh, I have some karambits that were made by them, old school. Uh, one fixed blade karambit, one folder. And yeah, they were a very high quality. So um, yeah, that's a, definitely a respectable uh, brand. This is my Victorinox Cadet, right? So you see, noticeably shorter than the Cadet. So compared to a Victorinox, I do like this can opener better. I mean, look at that. That can opener means business, you know? And it has other uses, mainly draw cuts with that tip, right? I don't like the push style can openers that much. I'm just gonna pierce this can, yes. We've got the hash. All right. These are these work better if you use your right hand. So this is my off hand. Just gonna pierce it. Oh yeah, easily. I mean, it just sunk right in. Uh, yeah. So basically, you work your you know you work your way around, but definitely sharp enough to do its job. This is one of my Emerson knives, my Emerson folders. All right. Always useful to have a flat head. So you could uh, adjust the pivot screw, for example, and tighten it back down. Yeah, and the other opener also has a flat head. I'm pretty sure you know what a screwdriver is. That's useful. Like with these scissors, you have to get the cut started a little bit, right? Kind of got to get it started, and then it'll cut it all the way, right? So, these scissors, that's actually not bad. They're not of the caliber of the Victorinox scissors, but at least they can cut this. Um, they're actually a lot better than the scissors on um, my Gerber Multi-Tools, for example. And let's try the bottle opener. Hold on. Get this in frame. Ah, there you go. This bud's for you. What's this? This is some hard iced tea. The most exciting part about knives like this coming out of Italy is the uh, the option to get better steels on a 
multi-function knife or a Swiss type of knife, right? Now this uses the N690, but there are knives coming out of Italy that use MagnaCut and some that use uh, M390, right? So that's very exciting that if you want to, you can have multi-function knife which has uh, some very uh, sought-after steels, right? Now those other ones are more expensive, but I will be showing some of them on the channel. So what about the price on this knife? It was $63. Well, I don't know if it's going to stay that price. I mean, it is still new. But I can tell you, if this had been made in China, it would be about half the price, but it wouldn't be as nice, right? This has very good fit and finish. Um, it's just made very precisely, right? So, you know, the, the China version of this knife would probably be about $30, but it wouldn't give you just a, as much pride of ownership. I would say this is a very solid effort. You don't know how hard it is to try to make something that people might buy instead of their next Victorinox knife. All right, but a lot of my viewers, they already have their Victorinox collection filled out. The truth is, Victorinox doesn't come out with new models all that often anymore, right? So that leaves a gap in the market and the Italians are trying to fill it. Well, that's good for us, the consumer. More choices. Do I think this fulfills its purpose as far as would it be useful on a keychain? I think it would be very useful on the keychain. Sharp knife, scissors, screwdrivers, and uh, it's fairly compact. So yeah, I do think it fulfills its mission, so to speak. Okay, my YouTube friends, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short overview of this new multifunction knife from Italy. If you like stuff like this, multi-tools, Swiss knives, other types of knives, fixed blades, machetes, swords, tomahawks, go ahead and subscribe.